Hi, I'm Jody Glover, Principal Curriculum Developer for Oracle. I'm going to show you how to identify a free PCIe endpoint device for an I.O. domain in Oracle Enterprise Manager OpCenter. First, let's begin by looking at the I.O. resources on the T2A01 virtualization server. On the I.O. Resources tab, OpCenter lists buses and PCIe endpoint devices. On this particular virtualization server, there are two buses, PCI1 and PCI0. There are also two Ethernet devices, MBNet0 and PCIe1. We want to determine which of these Ethernet devices we can use for our I.O. domain. In a terminal window, log in as the root user and then use the LDM list IO command to view the list of IO resources on the server. This is another way that you can view the endpoint devices and buses on your server. Notice that neither of the buses has IO virtualization enabled yet. Determine the PCIe endpoint device that's used by the control domain's boot disk. You want to make sure that you don't remove this device from its bus. Enter df slash to determine the pool name that contains the boot disk. The results indicate that the pool is named rpool. Enter the command zpool status rpool to determine the name of the boot disk in the pool. The results show that the boot disk is named c4t0d0s0. The control domain boots from this internal disk. Next, use the ls command to find the device path for the boot disk. The results show the path of the boot disk. Now let's return to OpCenter and identify the PCIe endpoint device that has that same path. Notice that the SCSI device named MB-BA has that path. Therefore, you can't detach this device for your I.O. domain. Return to the terminal window to perform your next job, which is to determine the endpoint device that contains the network interface used by the control domain. Enter the command ifconfig-a. The results show that the Net0 network interface is plumbed with the management network 192.168.103.12. Use the DLADM show PHYS command to find the physical device name for Net0. The results show that the physical device is named NXGE0. Now use the ls command to find the path for the NXGE0 device. Now that you've identified the path, return to Ops Center and identify the PCIe endpoint device that has that path. The device is MBNet0, which is attached to the PCI1 bus. Therefore, you can't detach the MBNet0 device. Now that you've determined which devices you can't detach for the I.O. domain, you can conclude that the only PCIe endpoint device that's available for an I.O. domain is the PCIe1 Ethernet device, which is attached to bus PCI0. And that concludes the demo for how to identify a free PCIe endpoint device for an I.O. domain. Thank you for watching.